as mentioned, I've been wanting to do this one for a while, and I'm wanting to do monsters that aren't in world might be coming to world. And I've been doing little one-offs in just solo recording videos, but now let me just do it in stream form, basically. That was my thought process behind making this happen. Starting out with a geeky hunt, as proper. So part of this came about from looking at the new Iceborne stuff and watching it and now I've heard that it's basically the size of the base game, which is great. Oh right, you spawned two for this one. I'm pretty sure you spawn in two or three or whatever the area is numbered. You're over here. Yeah, it's two. Okay. But looking at that stuff and all the niceness that's coming in and then I went and saw an analysis video of just listing the monsters that have been confirmed because that's all I kind of really wanted to know of who was absolutely positively coming because I feel like there was a lot of talk about some but then none of others like I didn't even realize Barrioth had been confirmed until I watched that either In that video, I also saw there was mention of a creepy cave monster. Creepy crawly cave monster. And Gigi is high on the list considering there are two. It's basically Gigi and Kazu. Based on the information they assume, based on the area, geology, and whatnot, they're assuming Gigi, and I'm hoping for Gigi. I want to play a beautiful world rendition of Gigi Nox. Not to mention all the more recent Gigi stuff has been in stuff that never got ported. So, and if not, Gigi, I would much rather something new. Like I said, it's only Gigi and Kezu that really fit the bill for creepy crawly cave monsters. So having a new one in the mix would actually be way more interesting. Where are you going? Nine left. If there's a set of monsters I don't think is coming to the world, it's going to be the Great. They have great Jagras and great Giros. Not a whole lot of greats. They're limping too. You know, I didn't hit you that much. You could have just limped away from the first area, gone into here, and we could have ended it here. Oh, come on. Let's put the limping all the way here just for this crap. Damn it. Well, I'm moving the camera around for this guy. There was absolutely nothing there. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, spent poison. Come on, come down. Yeah, 
other one, when it ran in here limping, it died very soon after. Thank you. Oh, okay, that is in the same place. I think I did see some people joking about Pokemon Gun being the combo game, like Platinum is for Diamond and Pearl. Which probably not, I think if they did anything like that it'd be Lance. Though I'm not sure how that legendary would look considering the other two and Would it be holding the lance like the one is holding the sword? <laughs> Where did you go? What the hell, man? You left there. You should be here. In your normal cave. Are you in three? Once again, things I miss from world. The scout flies are so helpful. Why are you here? And you're about to run into your normal area. You should have been there from the get-go. Make me run somewhere else to find you here. You dick. I want to hunt some other things. So, I'm ending this earlier than needed. Oh, that's lucky. You're right here. I forget how to use a long sword. Damn. <sighs> Come on, Snow Gray. I want you to come to Iceborne. I really do. God damn it! <laughs> I just rolled right into his stupid body check. Oh, that sucks. Who are you trying to hit? Okay, them. Be my meat shields. <gasps> you even broke a piece off of them? You're actually doing work. It's a miracle. So I don't know if I'm the only one, but I have played the beta, played, fought Ben Barros, recorded it, it's on my YouTube thing, and I keep confusing that motherfucker's tail with the Nogre. They're very similar. Don't hit me, I was... I should have started doing that combo sooner. Ugh. I better not get dizzy just from that body check, because now I'll be very annoyed. But every time I see Benbaros, I literally confuse it for another. Why are buttons not do? Well, it charged at least. 
and now you're hungry. Damn it! Run, run. And so because, and when I saw the Galvanus trailer, which was the last one to come out, I literally saw Ben Barros, didn't realize it was Ben Barros, rewinded it, and went back to be disappointed. Because <gasps> it was just Ben Barros and not Sonari. Which is the most depressing thing about that trailer. And it's not Ben Barros' fault. I already have some issues with it being too... Uruguan like which is still not its fault it's you asshole you run into here and then you leave you should have known there's no food over there for you to even eat why'd you bother food for you is in a completely different area you're just gonna rage out soon anyway That's probably what's gonna happen Whew. Mitch. hurry up why didn't that register am I already a max is that the problem damn it I think I might have already reached the max and I just forgot what the max color was and apparently I guess it's purple oh come on that was helpful kind of where are you oh, okay you were healing Can you two draw fire for like five minutes? Hangry, whatever the hell. Come on. Fuh, I thought you were running away. <laughs> I wanted you to be leaving. I hate that move. That one's the worst. That one's worse than the tail slam. Uh, no, you don't sleep in 3D. I don't think you sleep. <gasps> you did? I didn't think you slept in three. So I came in anyway. If I had waited a second, you'd been nice and sleeping and I would have had a clear shot at your stupid tail. Epinoff, you killed yourself by getting in the way. There we go. I knew the tail was close to done. I'd hit it plenty. You just got out of rage mode. You don't get to start again. Oh, guys, finally doing work, huh? This is something I do and I have done before and I think it's something other people can do as well of uh, especially in Monster Hunter where there's low rank and high rank so after you enter into high rank everything in low rank is easy but low rank can still mess you up if you mess up I think I had it even in the case in world where, hey, I need some Toby Kadachi stuff for some of my weapons. And I need it low rank because I just now decided to make these weapons. And I used up or gotten rid of all my materials for them. So, had to go hunt some Toby. It'll be low rank. Got some low work investigations, went into them, did them, and I'm pretty sure I died. 
I got carded by a low rank Toby in my full set of high rank, fully upgraded armor, but I messed up and so he killed me. So I guess we're just doing you all alone. And that's sad. Uh, bye. Antidotes. Because I forgot to go to the thing before I got this quest set up and I don't feel like... I'll live. I will. I'll craft some mom out there. I can get some goddamn honey in that area. I don't care. Where the hell does this motherfucker spawn? It's one of the areas that I just don't know. Anything from the original try, I know like the back of my hand. This one, not so much. Just the tip. Which I've been watching. Catching up kind of on Archer. I kind of sped through the last couple seasons. Basically figured out how they did the premise of him being going into multiple realities. Which I'm wondering how, just how long they'll keep doing that. But, it's working. But I still kind of want to see his reaction of when he comes out of it. And how much has changed since. And the only reason I'm catching up is because I got a Hulu subscription. And I finally also broke and got an ads-free Hulu subscription. <laughs> I mean, fuck that system, by the way. I feel like if Hulu wanted people to watch their ads, it should be... Hey, you can come to our site, watch a limited amount of stuff, but you also have to watch ads. Do the Crunchyroll method. Crunchyroll has a limited library right, for people who don't pay, and you have to watch ads. And it's only an ad at the beginning of the fucking video. Hulu has fucking ads everywhere. And underwater battles come at both good and bad, I think. A lot of people hated them, but at some point you get used to them. So it doesn't matter anymore. Granted, I don't think I've ever heard of a game with good underwater combat. At least one that isn't also primarily in underwater. Yeah, I feel bad. Not you. Here you go. Watch me find that it's not in here at all. There you are. Gobble. Like I said, one that's absolutely not making it to fucking world. Bubble is a fun hunt, though. And I forgot to get shit to fish him out with. So, we're just gonna do this underwater. From the get go, which is not good. Shh. 
I don't think I've ever done any underwater battles on video or stream before, so this is kind of nice. <sighs> Gobble has a breakable lantern. I think the whiskers break and the tail gets cut off. And the spikes and the tail can both cause a paralysis effect. Oh, not to mention the stupid flash thing that gets caused by the lantern. Was that lantern breaking is one of the few cases where I've actually seen, hey, if it breaks, they can't do it anymore. Udagon's supposed to have that. If you break its back, he can't spout out as in any or as much of the rocks that will hit you and explode. But I don't see a difference when I've done that. And then Rathion's tail explode getting cut off. I've never seen make a difference in whether or not it will poison me. Are you gonna get up on land on your own? Oh, you are. I see it being a long time before they maybe could add water monsters in, but they're not going to do it where you actually have to fight them underwater. I don't think, at the very least. I feel like it's something that could happen eventually again, but it's going to take a while before they're willing to try again. Oh, I did break the lantern! And really, the only other big issue is monsters will have need to have like two move sets. To a degree of they can't do exactly the same things on land and in water. Hitting in the lantern area after being broken is still fairly damaging. Oh, come on. Stupid little blue draw skin in my. He's almost done, but I feel like it's one of those things I talked about where I'm getting cocky and he'll take advantage of it. No, laptop, why do you do this to me? So my laptop has a thing where it just decides it's going to go black. No, it's going to sleep. It's just the screen's going to go black. So the reason this became such a broken set, and you'd see basically everyone who is anyone using a gunner set with it, is due to status. Status attack up 2. And equipment. Kelby has a slime element. Slime is considered a stat based attack. So, it gets a plus 2 to slime attacks. And slime attacks are blast attacks. This is where slime slime originated the blast effect. So, it is broken to have a 
two a times two on it. So good if Echo's not making it into world. Basically I'm aiming for anything that isn't in in world already. It might be coming to world in the Iceborne expansion, but is absolutely not in it. So avoiding things like Rathion, Rathalos. Still not figured out how to get coding on. Holding A, nope. A and B, no. A and X, yes, A and X. That's how it's done. Oh, you called. That, that is Azur. Yeah. You called Azur. Which, honestly, not gonna complain. Of everything you could have called, least problematic. I don't think this armor's fully upgraded. And if it is, this is another reason why I hate this generation of having the multi set. Gunner and Blade Master. I guess some people like it. I saw some people asking for it. I'm fine with having different variations of sets that can, like, maybe be made to work better for a Gunner or a Blade Master. We could, but rather than now, like, it's Basically, hey, this one has the ability for more customization, and this one does not. But gunner sets were also made to be weaker. So, the potential to get one-shotted is a lot higher. The bullfongo saved me. <laughs> you dickweed. Azur, I am trying to poison Kotopeko over here. Leave me alone. Hmm. I think Kudopeko would not make it into world, but probably not, because that's a fairly... The skeleton isn't really in there. Yeah, I don't think it's unique enough to warrant adding the skeleton. At the very least, not unique enough that it... Fucking hell, you just left. Why are you bothering listening to this asshole? I know he sounds like your friends, but he's an asshole. He's faking it. He's lying. You should be able to see that of, oh, it's just that dumb Kudopeko calling me. I'm gonna leave him to die. Where are you at? Oh, okay. Yeah, I am so not going to be using the bow again after this. Just because it's kind of a raging pain in my ass. But yeah, Kudopeko Skeleton isn't... is different, but... than I think everything in the world, but it's also not close enough to a lot of other things that I feel like they would add it in. I also didn't think Good Effect was very popular in comparison to some of the other ones either. Like I definitely agree with the assumption that they're mostly adding in flagships. 
flagships, and fan favorites. Along with some new and some variations on their new, I'd like to see QQ get a variation because. Come on, Azure. We had a talk. And now, because you didn't listen, you got some slime on you, and you broke something. You should have. Ignored it. I love exhaust. Exhaust is one of my favorite things to have. Because it gets them to that state of just hunger and not knowing what to fucking do. <laughs> A lot. Come on. No! No! I... Oh yeah, I should have used. I didn't bring, and I didn't forgot to bring, Sonic Boom stuff, and that just was a waste. Oh, you're leaving. Which is good. Because Azure's going to be coming here. Because you called him here. I blew myself up too, but I was determined to get him with a bomb. Come on, just... There. Done. Before Azure could come be your goddamn backup, Paco. Yeah. So my original thought, and this was going to be my test case to see if I would consider doing it, was to take this set and this weapon and take it against... The person who brought us the wonderful slime element, Bratchy. Not doing that. We'll do something a little bit more. Bratch? No? Well. Next bet would be over here. I just know he's not going to be at the top of the volcano. There you are. I didn't bring freaking the paintball crap. Roll, roll, roll. It's such a brutal hunt. But I will say, much more fun than Diablo still. Where are you at? Oh, there. This environment also does not help this fight. I can't remember. I feel like 
there was a time where I was hunting something like that fucking shit happens and that's annoying if either was I was hunting something in this area and or was hunting with friends in this area and the monster kept staying out of reach in the lava and I'm pretty sure that quest ended up failing due to a timeout just due to the fact that couldn't hit it it stayed out of reach so much and for so long it got close to being done but couldn't hit it at the end so quest fail yeah this is the reason why this is a G rank set, high rank Pratchy. This is a high rank Pratchy, right? I made sure to do high rank. Yeah, that's probably high rank, because that would take out way more if it wasn't. <laughs> Now I'm taking for granted the fact that I can move while I heal. It takes fucking forever, but I can move while I heal. Oh, I forgot I had speed sharpening on this set. Helpful. I think I would have had enough time, but still very helpful. Pretty sure I basically made this set. To fight Dire Morales. The boss elder dragon of this game. Which I feel is mostly forgotten. I know I have. Trapped in Come on. Wait. You dick. You did it. You're stupid. Sick and hungry animation. And I'm making the mistake again of hitting the wrong button to dodge. Nope, nope, even worse. That's worse. That's worse. Get away from me for a second. Whew. I forgot to use the fall strat to avoid getting hit. Or getting damaged, at least. Just enraged. You are not allowed to do that that fast. And not allowed to do that. Oh, I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. Yeah, because I have no stamina. <laughs> I was basically just waiting to die on that. Not lying. That was just a wait to die moment. Up. And up. Come on, Bratchy. Hopefully he doesn't kill me again, because I used all my max potions. The last time he had me almost dead. Stop 
stop going away from me like that. You've done it multiple times now where you've decided that the lava is the best place for you. And I'm going to tell you right now, you can survive it, but it's not. You don't want to be there. It's a bad place to be. Oh, one of his claws broke. Here's the thing you'd hope after one of his claws breaks. That, hey, he can't use slime anymore, right? No. Slime's still a thing. Stop, let's not do this do, -si -do garbage. I've never seen that. Well, that's probably because I wasn't moving and he decided to just focus on me. Good lord, you broke three things. Very close together. No friend, Prachi. I love you. You're a pain. And really, they're all a bit of a pain. Even Geeky. I love Geeky. Geeky can be a bitch when he wants to be. Yeah, most of them depend on the hunt. Some are just. But this Bratty fell down quite a bit. He just keeps walking away from me into bad places. Okay, at least you're not totally submerged. I'm out. Aww. I almost feel bad. If you hadn't killed me, I might actually feel bad. I think he sleeps in that area, so I'm going to give it a minute or two after he leaves. Run for those. Don't be dick. Don't be dick. Actually, if you want to be a dick and run into that, that'd be super cool. <gasps> oh, you didn't do it. Well, there you go. But he totally should have been able to set that off. I think I got injured from the explosion more than the tail swipe. I think Cha Cha got that kill. And that's annoying. Iron Outdoor is better lobby. Lobbies suck. But he's honestly much more manageable. Also because he sort of regularly does moves that heat up the lava. So it makes it a lot easier to actually get some damage on him because you're not bouncing off all the time. And I'm pretty 
pretty sure if memory serves me correct, these do not recoat either. Once these are broken, it's broken. And you can still see bits of the lava on them. Just not as thick anymore that as it used to be. Like it needs to rebuild up that thick coat. Or then replenish easily. Like it were mud. If anything, Agnostar is the only Leviathan that would have a chance of making it. Simply to the fact that it is not at all water-based. And it even has a glacier form. Noctar doesn't get into world. I hope he's high on the list for whatever comes next. There's no way they can backpedal. There's none. People are very, very happy with world. It's one of the best selling games Capcom has ever made and absolutely the best selling Monster Hunter game. Ideally, I would also like them to still have a version of it for whatever Nintendo system. That was its home when I got introduced to it. I literally bought the Wii U weeks before it or this exact game released on it. I waited for Monster Hunter before I got my Wii U. So. And a majority of my friends all have a Nintendo. And if they did release it for multiple, I'd probably buy it twice. Thinking about it. PlayStation 4 for the higher level graphics, and then which, or whatever Nintendo console at the time for whatever. I'd love to see them do, I know they announced Switch Lite. I'm all for them doing some sort of Switch Pro thing of, hey, for those who want a solely console box, here's the Switch Pro. Oh, and have it as a better graphical ability where it can handle things to PS4 level. Not even PS4 Pro level, but PS4. Like, get it to there. It won't run as good. As PS4, a PS4 Pro or PS5 probably will be out by that time. I'm the next Monster Hunter officially releases. You're dragging me with you. You are making a very big mistake. was just good placement on my part, bad placement for his part, where I was right at his armpit and right in front of him, so when he started to limp away, he's kind of pulling me with them instead of leaving me behind. I think it is a testament to world that while I am excited for Iceborne, I am still also very excited to see what they do even after Iceborne. Thanks anyone for coming by and I will see you in the next one. Bye.